those who uh, have not supported this particular struggle and the aromas in Nigeria. Immediately, Biafra become a nation, independent nation. We have the, from the identity card, national identity card of Biafra, it will first of all differentiate those who fought for this freedom and those who did not fight for the freedom. That is number one. As I'm talking to you now, you, as part of those who fight for this freedom, in your identity card, there is something that we, in the government, we use to differentiate you. So once you go to any service, once you go to any office, and which is, you know, our, our country is going to be digitized. So once you go to any office and present your card, your ID card, your national ID card, yeah. already they know you are not, you were not part of the Biafra struggle and you will be handled and treated differently. It's going to be like that, including applying for passport, including in tax. The taxation of those who did not fight for Biafra will be different from the taxation of those who fought for Biafra. This is not only going to be in your ID card, it is also going to be in the national data, database of every individual. So let them not think that we are joking. I'm telling you, the, uh, the uh, South Korea did it. Our own is going to be even worse than South Korea. Right. So I'm just, telling you, I'm just telling you now that you see the national identity card of Biafra that we are working on now, database, every individual who have participated financially, otherwise to, for this particular struggle for Biafra, until now, will have a different thing in their ID card right. that will differentiate them from those who did not participate. So, and uh, when the time comes, I am going to announce the difference because some of you may not understand it. You may see the ID card, it is the same thing, but there is something different in the security. Right. And it is going to be like that. So, in the Biafra Parliament, we will then de deliberate and, uh, and uh, you know, decide on a longer... Uh, uh, you know, a longer uh, approach uh, or, 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 you know, sanction that uh, will be imposed on those who mocked us and who did not uh, fight the Biafra or who stood by the Nigeria, you know, against their own freedom. So the Biafra parliament will debate and bring a very uh, stringent measures that will be widely and, uh, you know, completely acceptable by the Biafra people who fought for the freedom. It's not for the interest of those who did not fight. So we know what we are doing. And uh, so those people who think that uh, they have professor this and their that, or that they have money, and that they will come and start using money to buy Biafra or buy government when the Biafra come, they are going to be disappointed. Because the tax we are going to impose on you, depending on how much you, how much you have and you know, your what. You can put the tax, eh? Thank you. The Biafra National Intelligence team, the Biafra database team, and the Biafra IT department are designing a questionnaire where those issues you raise now will be addressed. So before you apply for Biafra National Identity Card, as a Biafra residing in diaspora, we are going to know you from your village, from your kindred, and there are preferences that you have to bring or you have to fill information about your kinsmen and all that. So it is not just uh, uh, coming to arrive that you are Biafra and you are accepting. No. And for that reason, with the formation of the de facto government, we are going to verify those people that have different names in their passport will be subjected to a different verification from the de facto government from the state where they come from. So nobody is going to have Biafra identity card and you know you are not a bear fan at the end of the day so we make sure that all those grievances that some people are claiming that this one is going to override me this one is marginalizing me you cannot be marginalized in nigeria and come to biafra and marginalize you no we have we have to resolve this problem nobody is marginalizing everybody every state is on their own if you have one hundred thousand oil well in your state Ari is a chukugi thank god for it but do not use it like nigeria if you use it like that, the Biafra government will come and impose guardianship on your state. These resources you have in your state must be used for the development and for the citizens of your state. Development of your state, development of Biafra, and above all, to make sure that everybody in your state, every citizen, lives in accordance with the Biafra law, especially of the law of welfare, the social welfare law. Everybody must be comfortable, live in good house. 
that is the kind of Biafra we are fucking we are fighting about. Not fighting about of Biafra of resource control. We are not interested in your resources. We are not interested in whatever in finance. So every state will be well to do. So we make sure that those states who need help from the central government will also design a system, a, a, a system, a system where those states will meet whatever that they don't have. The, like whatever they are lacking will be provided for them in accordance with the constitution of Biafra. So the issue of uh, you want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, take over our land or do this and do that is already so resolved in this particular uh, present uh, Biafra government and the Biafra Defense government. That's why everybody, we are giving everybody time. Every state, we are giving them time to come up with their state structure map and not distorting any map or demography. So everything is working out to beat that particular divide and rule that Iflani and the British installed in our people before 67 war. And today, everybody's happy. You go to me, you go to people have presented their own and we are happy with it. And they're happy. Now, the, most of the coastal region who have issues with the state map and their state name or their, the, 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 the capital of their state and all that are coming with whatever they feel this is mostly accepted by them. And I gave them to the 4th of December. That is the last date. By 4th of December, we will have a complete state of Biafra and map. And I'm going to have a state of the union broadcast to give the final, uh, you know, uh, unveiling of the complete Biafra state, as the case may be. Thank you. There is a structure in place to secure the finances of Biafra people. But you know, the, uh, the stubborn one, or the stubborn ones will lose their finance. They may lose huge and they may lose everything. Those stubborn ones who are having and being possessed by the spirit of stubborns will lose their finances. Before the declaration of Biafra or the declaration of Biafra, we are, apart from other measures that will be used to secure the finance of Biafra people, we are going to, or we are looking at, uh, uh, unveiling the Biafra cryptocurrency, the Biafra coin, and it is going to be called Biafra coin with the blockchain, as the case may be. If you like, let somebody go and steal this particular thing I'm talking about now. We are still going to use another name. So we are going to open the Biafra coin, and which will make sure that it is very strong, like dollar, very, very strong, like dollar. All it requires is money. Once that is done, we will encourage every Biafran to move their money to Biafra coin. This is going to be huge and it is going to post in the international uh, stock exchange. Where Biafra move their money to the Biafra coin, one Biafra coin will be like $1 or even $2 or even $1.50. We have what it takes. What it takes is only Jiku Kewuneso. These are the brains that people don't understand what is coming. Our currency will be stronger than dollar. Believe me, we have all it takes to make it happen. So every Biafran will be encouraged to move their money to Biafra coin and Biafra currency, a Biafra cryptocurrency. It is going to be safe, secured, and it is going to be there until we stabilize our Biafra government central bank. We established the central bank of Biafra government and it is acceptable by the global financial market, acceptable by the United Nations and whoever that needed to accept Biafra. Then we will gradually begin to pull the money that Biafrans have deposited to the Biafra coin back to the Biafra central bank. So this is a strategy that requires the highest level of intelligence to do and we're doing it so when uh, we are not the one we, i am not a freedom fighter that will tell you wait when the time comes to solve it i am telling you what we are going to do and if you think that this what i'm telling you is not viable or it is not uh, reasonable come up with something more reasonable than this my own is not try and lock i am not doing the biafra struggle try and lock i know exactly what i'm doing and i have answers to any question you can bring on so what i'm telling you now is what we're going to do then after that, everybody will start moving their money down to the Biafra Central Bank. 
but then we must have stabilized our economy and currency. We have what it takes, we have natural resources and everything. So, my people, this is the country and the future that you have all craved for. Thank you. I'm uh, giving you a lot of information. Always remember not to miss our space because this is where it happens. We are not fighting the freedom of where you ask questions. We will tell you, I'm with this, yeah. I will tell you when the time comes, we are hiding it so that our enemy will not come and disturb it, so that our enemy will not go and sabotage it. You can never sabotage our template for the liberation of Biafra. Never! You sabotage it, we will use it, and it will work out for us. That is how serious we are. We are not hiding anything. Everything I'm going to do for Biafra to come, I will say it openly, so that Biafra people in this year will understand what we're doing. This is not a, if we tell it now, they are Nigeria, agent will go and say, go and sabotage what I'm saying now. You can never succeed. Because this is one guy, this is also. Awesome. And the Lord does all of you. Anyway, yeah. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. That is the end of the interview. And uh, stay tuned for the next update. This is GM TV.